Yo, yeah, what's up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 15 Ultimate Team game. Today, we got Colin Kaepernick, the throwback Cap at quarterback. This is actually a game I forgot to post here with Cap running around early on and fumbling the ball on the first play of the game. So, you're going to see a few players that aren't on my team, like you won't see Bo Jackson and stuff like that. But, um, one more, one last hurrah for throwback Cap, man. You guys probably know I sold him and you Nora know, Rock and Cam Newton team of the week right now. Though, none of that really matters. So, we got to focus on who's on defense right now as we stop the run there in second down bringing up a third down and 10 he's rolling out the pocket with Derek Hart throwing it across his body to the tight end and moving the chains to the first down which will easily allow him to punch it in with a mod green on the next play and our opponent capitalizes on our turnover by getting a quick seven right there so that hurt I mean <laughs> that's not the way you want to start the game man so we're gonna try to be a little bit less reckless but Kaepernick but Kaepernick gets sagged right away check out the block shooting my opponent had and my dude was an expert D-line user man he was everything that's you know that highlights Madden 15. Let me say that at least. You got the D line block shedding. You got the um die tackling, the flashlight tackle. He was a pretty good expert at that, and that was hindering me a little bit throughout the game as we find Julio Jones. But the one thing about him was he was just playing basic cover three the entire game. He didn't really come out of that, kind of like the way I play cover three most of the game. That's what he was doing. A second down six comes up. We run a counter to Jamal Charles, but the run game was just absolutely dead. No matter how much I tried to get the run game going or anything like that, it seemed like Jamal Charles was just a non-factor. Though finding a slot receiver, that worked as you find Steve Smith Sr. there for the first down. Next play, Kelsey again the first down. I've had this Kelsey at tight end for a while, man. I don't know, just he, he seems like a good run blocker and stuff like that. He's a pretty good, uh, he has some good agility for a tight end as this ends up being a pick. It wasn't really a good read. It kind of hurt that the fact it was tipped up in the air and eventually picked off because we were making some good reads throughout that game, throughout that drive there. And, um, you know, of course, the first one ends up getting picked. So now back to the drawing board and hope our defense does something good. Of course, he didn't really do too much in offense in this game. All he did was get one third down. So we're not really fretting him right now, though we are learning more about what he's doing. A second down nine, he comes out screen passing. Third down and three, he runs a counter with Green, but Green just not able to get the first down as Barry tackles him. Fourth down and inches, he runs hard up. He's going for it, running a sweep. But Eric. Barry denies him there. LaShawn McCoy lost a yards, and that's a turnover on downs. Now, if he doesn't run hurry up and just calls a normal play, probably to his benefit there. I don't know why he did that, but... I mean, I'm not complaining, because usually fourth and inches, you really don't got to do much. Fullback dive, quarterback sneak, usually a first down, as you see. He's just continuing to get pressure throughout the game, just sending four people. No special blitzes, just like cover three sky or something like that the entire game, but it was just killing me, and I could not run the ball, and it was frustrating. I'm like, this is the most basic thing that's killing me in this game. I can't really move the ball much, so eventually, you know, I'm just going to have to ditch it and try to go with Kaepernick, but third down and 15, I take a deep shot for no reason ill advised could have been picked off but it was really swatted by the free safety so that's end up being a field goal for us i'll just take the three points and hope we could play some defense once again we really haven't seen too too much of what he's done he got stopped in the fourth and inches so you know he's i, I realize he likes to run sweeps and counters so that's the one thing he's not really running inside it's everything's being bounced to the outside now he's coming out running strong power with green and green is breaking into the second level with under a minute left to go that's what we didn't want to happen we're just trying to get this game going into halftime not give up any points but here he is moving the ball trying to get at least a field goal to make it a full touchdown game second down 12 he comes out play action will we get some good pressure of our own that's going to be a sack and bring up a third down and super long he's trying to roll out the pocket with Derek Carr trying to use that to it as his advantage but he's got absolutely nothing a Mukamara is down there you guys know how Mukamara plays for me he just shuts down so nine seconds left before half we're just going to give Jamal Charles a few handoffs and let's see what Jamal Charles can do right before halftime you see I'm trying to get that one juke move because it didn't really matter where I stayed in bounds on that because we still have a lot of time out to use now with one second left or three seconds left before the half we're gonna come out passing but once again I blocked seven people I think it was in that play yet some dude came in in like three seconds I'm just like I right. like really man <laughs> can I get at least a second even if I threw that ball it's gonna be an incompletion but still like can you guys help my confidence out a little bit as he stumbles but not enough for the first down third down and two he comes out with a counter run but JJ Watt block sheds off and prevents the first down once again he runs hard up fourth and one this time he comes out passing and barely gets it under Keekly. I would say over but that's actually under Keekly. two Greg Olson for the first down very risky throw there for a fourth and one once again you don't really need anything too tricky on fourth and one to convert but um I don't know, he was overthinking the game a little bit too much. And, you know, I think we were both overthinking the game, me and him both, and that's the reason why neither of us are pulling away right now. But he is trying to simplify things by chewing the clock out on us. He put on shoe clock after getting that fourth down, and 
He doesn't really want us to get the ball. He already has the lead. He's trying to make it a two-possession game here by getting a touchdown, as well as killing up all that clock. Or just kill all the clock without even giving us the ball back, though. He's going to give us the ball back after he gets this touchdown right here, breaking the Amukamara tackle of Mark Green in the end zone. And we're down 14-3, and this game is looking absolutely disastrous. But the thing is, we haven't really been too bad offensively. We just lost the fumble on the first play, me being reckless with Kaepernick, the result of that. And then we threw the one interception out there, and... Otherwise, I mean, we moved the ball downfield pretty efficiently when we actually had it. So, I just got to put those other drives in the back of my head. And, oh, it's comeback time, man. I, I could play like crap, but once I'm down a bunch of points, usually it wastes up something in me. Unless I'm just getting knocked on my ass with these blitzes. I'm usually able to find the open receiver, though. They need to catch the ball as ODB's not able to drop it. There, or, um, catch it there. He drops it. Third down, eight. Big third down. Everything is four down territory here as Kaepernick breaks his sack attempt, runs away from a second one, and then throws it on the run to Demarius Thomas, who's juking defenders all over the place, place and moving it all the way to the six-yard line. 44-yard gain. A play that could have easily been a sack next play Travis Kelsey gets the touchdown here at the news it's a one possession game we're gonna try to make it a field goal game and we do finding Kelsey finding a nice little spot in the zone coverage there and making it a field goal game where if we get a stop all we need is a field goal to send this game to overtime first we need to get that stop though as Samad Green's running the ball, he's getting nothing. We've been playing some pretty good run defense here. He broke off one or two big runs, but otherwise, we kept it contained. The second down, he comes out screen passing with the screen is locked up. He tries to throw it away. That's going to stop the clock right before the two minute warning. We'll allow him to troop in that clock. And out there, down 11, looking to get a stop. But he takes off with the quarterback, needing 11. And he got about 13 there. That was a backbreaker. Now it's a new set of downs as I believe JJ Watts swing. Oh no, it's Kikri. Swings him down, loss of four yards, and he runs. Hurry up. Instead of chewing the clock, he just runs. Hurry up. And he throws a pick to Richard Sherman on the next play. And look at Sherman trying to return this one. Even though he gets brought down, we are in field goal range. What a bonehead mistake. Instead of just running clock and running the ball, he runs. Hurry up. Comes out. Play action and gets baited by Sherman there. And we are in business. We are already in field goal range. But we're thinking, let's get that touchdown real quick. Let's just win the game and break this guy's heart. Third down and one. We run up to go at Jamal Charles. New set of downs, only 15 yards away from winning this game. Under a minute to go, but I stubbornly try to get the run, try to catch him off guard, and we lose two yards in that play. Next play, 30 seconds left, clock continuing to run. Kaepernick, no one to be open, and Kaepernick breaking the sack attempt again, running away and finding Julio Jones, who stays in bounds. We're going to have to use our first time out there, not a problem, because we're not too far. Third down and two, seven yards away. Looking at Kelsey, but I hesitate, and more immediate pressure, and Kaepernick breaks another sack attempt. Kaepernick Kaepernick is just too damn strong. This was breaking seconds everywhere, but we don't get the first down on fourth and two. We're gonna have to go for the field goal, right? Right? Nah, we're going for it. We're only two yards away from getting a first down, and I just felt ballsy today. I'm like, I'm going for it. I'm calling play action, and I'm throwing it to JJ Watt. Yes, I am throwing it to JJ Watt for the go ahead touchdown with five seconds left. Now, unfortunately, we kicked the ball out of bounds, so he needs a 60 yard Hail Mary to win the game here. He needs a touchdown. Last play, ball is tipped and caught by Cromarty. This game could have been going to overtime, and a lot of people would have sent to overtime. And normally, I would have sent to overtime, but I don't know. I just felt confident that we passed the ball. We'd find someone open, and J.J. Watt not only got us the first down, got us the touchdown. So, uh, my opponent did what he had to do to win. He was bringing some random pressure on me, but Kaepernick was just breaking tackles like crazy. We ended up coming with that win somehow. So, leave a like in this video if you enjoyed the great game. Subscribe for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team games, and I will catch you guys next time.